this idea, this company, is something you believe was inspired by God, even though you were not walking with Him. Now you, 100%. you were on crack. You right. were, you know, you were. Your life was really messed up. Mm -hmm. You got clean. You had cried out to God, but you had not had an experience right. with Christ. So a tell me how that occurred. Absolutely. And you know, here I'm going to say too. You'd always see me on TV when I started the infomercials wearing my cross. Yes. Yes. And everyone's, you know, they're. I would sit and I would argue with people on the phone. Why are you wearing your cross on TV and you can't wear that? And, and the, I even had a company say, "We don't want you to wear it if you're going to be on." I said, "Well, then I'm not coming on." Well, it got it. The, um, in 2015, we started doing these commercials. We do all of our own com commercials. We, you know, we make them ourselves, design them, and you know, think of what's going to be in them, and we make them real. And I got up, it got up to be, uh, we got, we started getting more and more of this platform and uh, to now I have 1,600 employees, but it wasn't until all the, and then all these miracles started happening to me during 16 and 17. Well, it was February 18th, 2017, just about a year ago, where I had, uh, went to this, uh, it was like this retreat and I had the most amazing experience. We went back to our, the wounds we had as a child and I said, and I did my, I gave my life to Jesus, you know, born again. And I'm going, so all those times I'm going, I wanted to be have that walk, but I wasn't there yet. And now look out. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, so here we have Mike Lindell, who in 2009 you had become clean from drugs. Right. You had been wearing a cross right. uh, in your infomercials. Every, every, even when I wasn't in the infomercials, I wore but it like that. It's yeah. been just over a year that you've right. actually been born again. Yes, absolutely. And, uh, and, <laughs> wow. and I kept, you know, the gal that I met in 2014, she had this amazing relationship with Jesus. And I'm going, she goes, you're not born again yet. And I go, I go, yes, I believe in God. I was taking offense to that, you know, and I'm going, and uh, I'll tell you what, there's nothing now. I was always looking forward to the day, just like the passion I have for my pillow or have, and to have that for Jesus. And after that born again, now it's like, look out, look out. <laughs> well, and, and of course, after you became clean from drugs, it was a short period of time after that that you actually... The, the company had come down to, to nothing, but then it built right. back up yeah. Yeah. after that right. point. Yeah, a couple of different times. You know, after I, January 16, 2009, I had to get it back. I had, uh, um, I, and, and uh, that built, I built it all the way up, getting my home shows and fairs back. And then that when I launched that infomercial in 2011, we exploded there. But then even, that was just a half hour infomercial. And two years later, we were down to, you know, I had, uh, we we're down to nothing again. And it's like we've been up and down like three times, and but the platform is was still there. That was just this amazing platform we're at today where the pillow is now, to me, are secondary, <laughs> secondary wow. to spreading Jesus, spreading the word of Jesus. So how now looking back and having given your given your heart to Jesus and and the pillow obviously is the the platform. People right. know you. Oh yeah, you they are, know you. Yeah. You are someone. You come into their homes. You come right. into their medicine cabinets. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, yeah. So you, you know, so people know you. Yeah. Now you have that opportunity to to share with people about the gospel. Oh, absolutely. And you know, it's amazing to me that people come up to me now, and it's almost it's neck, neck, and neck. And one, the first thing is that you know, if they talk about how good the pillow is and how good that, I get that. But most often, I get the story. They, 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 the story of hope and spreading the gospel. And they come out to me and they go, wow, I can't believe you were a crack cocaine addict and what Jesus has done in your life. And, and to be able to give people hope, that's a huge thing. And, they, uh, and the other thing is, you know, all the people that are addicted, to, you know, I'm, I've got a, a my foundation and an app coming out where we're gonna take drug addicts and, and get them where, um, and where they, they can come on and pick their drug you know, whatever drug they're on and their age, mm -hmm. and we will connect them with stories of hope. All these stories like mine that are their age group of how they made it through. And most of the time they're going to find out it was Jesus. 